time on blended online learning. Uh, this is Moodle version 4.01 and the theme is Boost. Many of you have asked me about blended online learning and how to work only with Moodle and BBB, which is Big Blue Button. Only fully online using an LMS and a virtual classroom such as BBB. Going to take you through a tour of what you can do on your Moodle site if you're using Moodle 4. Click on Site Administration and we're going to go into the plugins and BBB. Big blue button. I'm going to write BBB here or a big blue button. Generally it's one word, sometimes two, but in this case a blue button works. So keep that in mind when you try to find big blue button and set it up or find out how it's set up on your Moodle site. Notice a uh, big blue button as an activity. You can go into the general settings. Notice what they are here. It's a test Moodle blindside networks.com. Now notice the uh, secret comes with it. And it says that for free, you can have maximum length for each session is 60 minutes. And the maximum number of concurrent users per session is 25. So if you're giving a session, and it's going to be over 60 minutes, you might set up two sessions so that you can go from one to the other. Recordings expire after seven days and you cannot download them. I think that's really, really important for you to note. It's completely free, but there are restrictions. You can set it up, of course, in whichever way you wish. Notice uh, you have a welcome message. And when it comes to the recordings, notice what it says here. These are feature specific, recording enabled by default. That's up to you. And, uh, and I think that's wonderful, the fact that you can actually record. You can start recording from the beginning or manually set it up, hide the recording button or not. Now notice here, import recordings, that is enabled as well. So take a look at your big blue button set up on Moodle and see what you can do. Let me go into and also notice, wait for the moderator, waiting room, how long, isn't that amazing? And that's how you set it up. You can also pre-upload presentations to your BBB. All right. Okay, let's go back up. And this time, let's go into activities. Since Big Blue Button is an activity, I'm going to go into plugins and activity, manage activities, so you get a chance to see what it looks like. This is what it looks like. It's now blue and there is the setup. So if I go into one of my courses, going to go into this uh, training, my sandbox, and turn editing on. Notice the turn editing on is at the top. I also have accessibility added if you're interested in that. It's completely free, so you go into the edit mode over here. I think you will like this. Take a look at it. And you need to uh, actually install it. It's a block. If you want to know the name of the blocks, it's accessibility. And that's how I set it up. Let me close that up. All right, so if I go into Turn editing on, of course, all right? And then notice what appears here. When you turn editing on, 
All right, uh, there it is, add an activity or resource. It's right here. You click on it. I think it's very convenient that it's right there and not on the side and it's huge and not a tiny little thing. And then if I go into activities and big blue button is right here. And you can get information about that. If you go into the eye, it'll tell you more about it. If that interests you. All right, so let's click on it. I'm going to put a star on it there. All right, so notice what's available here. Question mark for questions. Room with recordings, otherwise room only. Um, okay, without recordings or recordings only. Room name, you give it a name. You set it up for yourself. Welcome message that you want. Wait for the moderator. That's an option. It's really nice, and I think 25 is a nice number. You know, having too many, it's not a you know, lecture hall. You want to communicate. So I think 25 is a nice number for the breakout rooms as well. And then um, all users enrolled can be viewed or moderate. And um, you've got all the roles here. Notice the roles again, viewer or moderator. Session timing. You want to make sure that you don't go over 60. Minutes, restrict access, activity completion if you wish. Okay, do not indicate is what I usually do. And if you make changes, you can click on it, send content change notification if you want, every time you make changes. And of course, you save it. Let me see if I've got everything here. Actually, I don't know what I do have. Um, timing, you can enable. Notice today's June 9th. Enable and close at the same time. So we can make it one hour. All right, and then save and display. Wait until it comes. Wait until you didn't give it a title. Let's just call it test with one T. If you want the paid version, you need to contact a host and pay. It's quite expensive. I personally can't afford it, so I'm not going to do that. So notice it's called Test. Everyone will be able to see it. You click on Join. Notice you can import, but you cannot export. So. If you want to record, you can use a screen sharing device and just record it. We'll use Camtasia, Screencast-O-Matic, um, any other. Join using your phone, microphone. All right, allow. It's establishing connection. Did I hear? I don't know. You are currently the only person did. in this conference. Start recording. Okay, you can also, there's an explanation here. If you're interested, you can also get rid of that. Take a look at it, play around with it, you can clear it. Um, to get an idea, you can also add content, start a poll, take, Hey, look, the best way to learn is really not for me to show you what can be done, but for you to try things out. Leave meeting, help, keyboard shortcuts. I'm the only one there right now. Notice I haven't started recording. But when we start, start recording, even though there's nobody there. Okay, now it's recording. And uh, still can't clear the chat here. Users notice uh, you can get rid of the chat. You can also add notes, get rid of the notes, notes for you and your students. And then you can add your content, full screen, minimize if you'd like to do that. Uh, you can also screen share at the bottom here. There we go. 
screen share or as I said you can add content by clicking on it manage presentation notice it says uh, manage or you can also share a video of course if it's YouTube okay you're going to add whatever you'd like to add so there I've uh, added this particular PowerPoint presentation you can add PDF actually it converts to PDF you can drag them let me upload Okay, notice it says to be uploaded. All right, and it's uploading. You can see it happening over here on the right. And there's a nice icon there that makes it really, really clear that that's what's happening. It'll take some time, so you might want to do this uh, in advance and not during your session. Oh, there it is. That was quite quick, in fact. Uh, but, of course, it'll depend. Uh, so we can uh, move the slides by going through the slides here in the middle, or we can use the arrows next slide and go through them this way. Notice I disabled the uh, chat. I can bring it back. Okay, and add something here. There's a high. Notice the settings here, applications, data savings, notification, chat message, if you want to get notified by audio alerts or pop alerts. I think the pop is really nice. I like that. Instead of getting sound, um, when a user joins, uh, when a user leaves, uh, when a user raises their hand, if you want audio, I prefer pop-ups. So that's uh, my setting. Let me save that. Notice the setting are at the top right, in case you missed that. The settings are over here, the three dots, so you can access that. Notice on the right here, you've got all these that you can add to engage with the whiteboard. Uh, let's go into um, the screen sharing feature here by clicking on the icon. Share your screen. Allow, and here it comes. You're now sharing your screen, which means that as I'm sharing it, I know you can see it on YouTube because I'm using a screencast matic but let's go back to Big Blue Button. Uh, you can also go into, this is where you add your work at the bottom left, Manage Presentations back here again. And you'll have a list of all your presentations here. Notice this is the current one that I'm using right now, but this is the default one that they have. So you'll have a list of all your presentations ready to go. So um, let's confirm and go back here. And I think that's all there is, really. Try it out with your students or with your colleagues. Have intimate meetings with 20 five participants for one hour, which is enough, plenty. And if you want to record, use a screen recorder. And if you'd like to know more about screen recorders, let me know in the comment box below. Or if you have any other questions, feel free to add them to the comment box below. And have a great day.